expect another hunt. It is the opening for the farm archery. And uh, I've been checking my cameras one final time. I pulled them. I got into my cows. Unfortunately. But um I have a plan tomorrow. I kinda wanna bivy into the uh, down like I wanna be. percent sound like a fawn. I heard it struggling for a little bit, you know. It just stopped. It just started kicking, kicking, kicking. And for a second I thought it was like coming towards us. And then it just stopped altogether. Like you could just hear it kick less and less and less. And then just quiet. Anyways, I'm in. I'm headed back to camp. So I'll see you guys at my little my little camps. guys we're back at camp and you guys know what time it is it's fire time so i've been wanting to use this this is the uh, hush pyro putty got my grass got my sticks and everything i don't imagine i need a lot it's very little like this uh, let's see how this works yep that's <laughs> I'm gonna try just a little bit. That's pretty cool. Still burning, that's pretty cool. Here's my little campsite. It's gonna be just me tonight. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna eat some food and then uh, call it night. It's already night, almost nine o'clock. So I've always been able to catch my own food here yeah, at camp. But today I came in a little late. So I cheated. I packed some steam rolls and I got a little bit of A&W. Since I can't drink beer, I'll drink root beer. Yeah, and then the fire is going on behind me. I got my SD card all situated out, uh, ready for tomorrow. And I got my bags and everything here. Got my bag, that's my camera bag. 
Got my, this is my pack that I'll be carrying tomorrow. Got all my junk in there. And of course my tent. And I will show you guys. Got my tent. I'll show you guys the setup in a little bit. It's a two man tent. I'm gonna chill by the fire and eat my dinner. First things first, I'm gonna do my thing. Hang tight, guys. All right, let's enjoy some steamroll. Let me just dump some of this secret sauce into this. Once you put the sauce, that's what it ends up looking like. Yep. And it's supposed to be like, it basically looks like clear egg rolls, if you're wondering what this is supposed to look like, but I think this one's a little old, so it's all mushed up. But, it doesn't matter. In the end, you end up eating like this anyways. But yep. Some, uh, oozy stuff. <laughs> yeah, still delicious. I'll still eat it. Still real good. You know what? Um, after I finish eating, I'm actually not going to sleep. I might go catch crayfish. The creek is just down below me here. And I always catch crayfish when I come here. So I might go down to the creek and do a crayfish run. Have some fun. So I have my bow with me today. And then um, I have my fishing pole. So that I can catch a dinner. And uh, tomorrow is the opener for quail. I treat quail. So I do have, I guess you could say, some trash arrows, some arrows that I'm not afraid of losing to shoot quails. And it's also squirrel season for our tree. So I got some um, options every season. During archery season, I'm up here, and um, I've noticed that I pack less and less and less food because uh, I tend to just eat what I harvest. You know, throughout the day, using my bow, I'll shoot a squirrel. I'll just have that for dinner. I'll shoot a, a quail with my bow, and. Um, have lunch or you know if I shoot multiple quails because a lot of time you know you find a covey of quail that's all together I'll shoot a couple have it for lunch and dinner and then of course there's fish I plan to go drop an elevation and try to find my buck um I notice that he keeps going down into this little valley and I'm gonna drop down into it and see if I can find him maybe um, like I said earlier, I was checking cameras, and he was not hitting the cameras no more. He was hitting the cameras, um, early, at late spring, and then the cows moved in, so he stopped hitting the cameras. And so I'm guessing that he's, um, camera, my light just died? Wow, camera just ran out of battery already. But yeah, so I think that he's, um. I think he's uh, down in that little oak grove. So it's going to be a 2,000 feet drop in elevation. And um, I did plan for that, for the drop. If I end up getting all the way to the bottom, uh, I will have my baby tent with me. So if I wanted to, if I decide to, um, I might leave camp here just set up like this and just leave it here. And um, baby camp into the uh, oak grove that that buck is sitting in. But I know, yeah, I'm still playing it by ear. I'm gonna sit first light, I'm not gonna go sit where I want to baby into. At first light, I'm gonna go sit where I sit every year. My two by three sits up there, so I'm gonna go sit up there for the first light hunt. So that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, 
I'm gonna pack the baby tent with me. Even if I don't baby down into the the old grove. I don't know what it's called. I call it old grove because I could see on the map and I could see in person because I've attempted to go down below before already. That um it's all oak trees all the way down. Let me stop the fire real quick guys. But yeah, so I've gone down there before. Not all the way down, but I've gone halfway down. And um, I have seen bucks down there. Uh, I ran into two little forks down there and a little fork horn. But guys, uh, this year, I'm going to do my best to just harvest some buck meat. I, I've been craving buck meat really bad. And I've been trying to get me buck meat, so uh, I'm gonna try to just shoot the first buck, the first legal buck that I see. I know I tell myself that every year that I'm gonna shoot the first legal buck, and I see the first legal buck, and I don't shoot it. But this year, I'm really gonna aim for it. Um, my uncle was telling me that you know sometimes you gotta shake off the rust to get your big buck, and what he means by that is I gotta shoot a little buck so that I'll be able to shoot the big buck. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's the plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna baby. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna pack the bivy tent anyways and have it on me, just as practice because I'm planning to bivy into the uh, where I have my bigger buck down below the mule deer. Up here, I'm hunting the mule, mule deer hybrids. Down low, I'm hunting the mule deers. So, and the big buck that I'm gonna attempt to bivy into tomorrow, it's actually a mule deer. It's that big three by four that I have pictures of. This guy, you'll see. I show you guys. I'll show you guys right here. This guy is the one I'm bivy into. Because um, he's the only one I got on camera this year. I have no idea where my 2x3 is at. Well, not mine, but the 2x3 that I've been chasing. I have no idea where he's at. Uh, I had no time or no money and time to come up to, to deer camp and uh, do my scouts this year. One was because I, pr I promised my wife that this year I'll spend more time with them uh, before hunting season started. Because I actually ended up hunting non-stop last season. I went basically turkey season all the way through to turkey season again. So when it came time to uh, when it came time for you know after turkey season I promised her like you know I'll, I'll spend more time with you guys until deer season starts. So I took a couple months off and it's been killing me because uh, I haven't been getting out to the hills and I put on a little weight, I'm a little out of shape so I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how I do. But yeah, that's the plan tomorrow guys. Alrighty guys, down at the creek, doing some real crayfish and see if we get any. <laughs> Unfortunately there's no crayfish anywhere. There's fish. There's one right there. Can I see him right there? Oh yeah, crayfish number one in the bag. <laughs> one guy down, nice, big. Just a crayfish. Let me put the bag of those. Got a big old bag today. There's a fish right there. There's another fish right there. It's a better fish. Oh, there's one right there. Nice big juicy guy. Can I see him? He's a big one. Oh yeah! Holy smokes, look at this dude. Talk about lobster status. This guy's giant. <laughs> His claws are bigger than my thumb. Holy smokes. That's what you want. I don't know why my computer and my camera keeps stop recording, but I just got me another big old crayfish. I don't know if you guys saw me record that bigger guy. It was a big one that I just caught right now. Like lobster. Alright, so this for this 
I'm going to be using my extremist, and I believe the sleeping pad should be in there. If it's not, then uh, damn, I'm in the world of hurt because I did not bring it. This is the same bag I use at Sonoma, if you guys are wondering. And uh, I have it wrapped up in the thing like this. But yeah, here's my sleeping pad. It's, uh, or not sleeping pad, here's my sleeping bag. And again, it's the extremist 32 degree bag. The, it's only gonna get down to a low of 59, so I don't, I'm not worried about that at all. And here's my sleeping pad. Again, it's the Air X pack. And it's got a built-in pump, so I just got to pump it up. Hang tight while I pump it up. All right, so that's the air pack, that air sleeping pad fully uh, aired up. And uh, typically, I will sleep with my head over here, towards the end, and uh, my feet this way. So that's how I'm gonna set it up. And then that's it there, this is over. And that's pretty much it for my sleeping setup. And then, I don't have it with me right now, but then it'll be phone, charger, spare clothes, my bow, everything sits back over here. And uh, when I come in to sleep tomorrow, everything comes in here. And I'll have my bag either on my head or my feet. Usually I put it above my head so that it doesn't go above. But yeah, that's my sleeping setup. I got the air expect again. One man tent, two man tent, my bad. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, this thing keeps me warm and cozy all night. Again, it's just like this. The pad is a bonus, definitely need it. If you don't have a pad and you're not using a pad, you definitely should invest in one. Uh, I promise you once you use it, you will never not want to use it again. So, yep.